Hello, this is Steve in the repair department at Air Guns of Arizona. Today we're looking at the Brocock Competo, where we'll be taking a look at actually replacing the O-ring that's on the magazine. Something that uh, I have a lot of customers ask me if they can do it, and I think this is something that anyone can do. So we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll get started. Uh, if you look at this closely, there's two Allen screws that I'm gonna be removing. Two millimeter Allen wrench. We can go ahead and remove the top plate. So this is spring loaded. So whenever you remove this, you're gonna go ahead and remove it and be careful because there's a little spring that could pop out and if you lose that spring, it'd be a hard one to find. And uh, of course, this right here, you'll make sure that that stays in the position too. You don't wanna lose this little piece as well. Again, the O-ring now is attached, as we can see it right here. I guess you could pull the O-ring off if you wanted to and, and you might be able to remove it without having to remove the wheel. But in many cases, you're gonna to have to remove the wheel. So this is spring loaded, so there there's tension on that. So I can let go and that's coming back. Well, that's why you wanna make sure that whenever you put it back together, that you have that tension. Uh, this is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench here that we're using on this set screw. And we'll go ahead and remove this set screw. Again, be careful because inside this hole, there's a spring and a ball detent on the back side. You can see the ball detent. Push on that now, that would actually come out and drop out, and so I'll show you the spring and ball detent. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wheel. It's gonna lose its tension. There's a spring underneath. The spring, it doesn't really matter which direction you put that on at when you're reinstalling it. If this comes off and it's laying aside, uh, what you do wanna do is if you can see this right here, there's a small hole right there I'm pointing to. And that little tip of it will go into that hole right there. In the wheel itself, there's another small hole. And the other tip will go into that hole. That's how you get this spring-loaded action. And so since we have this apart, what we were originally doing is replacing the O-ring. You just need a tool at this point to go ahead and remove the O-ring. You will then take a new O-ring, 26 by 1.5, and we'll put it on the wheel. It slides in very easy, no problems there. I find uh, that this can be the most challenging part of this installation, and that's putting the spring back on. I find it easier to go ahead and put the spring in the wheel first, making sure that it drops into the slot, which it does. That's laying nice and flush. I know that I got that in the hole. And so now I'm ready to go ahead and put the magazine back on to the actual housing. You're looking at a small tip it needs to go into a hole. And you'll know whenever you get it because you'll get where you can wind it and you'll get the spring action that you're looking for now. I can't wind this magazine enough in this position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this wheel up a little bit and I'm going to turn it where I get more counter wind. So I'm gonna take the tension off. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna go ahead and it might be just as easy to go ahead and, and find the spot where it stops. Okay, it stopped right there. I'm gonna lift up the wheel. I'm turning this counterclockwise to wind it, and I know that there's tension on it now. So I wanna make sure there's enough tension where once I have this wound, that I'm going to catch every pellet hole. I don't want it to stop after the fifth shot because there's no tension on the wheel. You need to drop the ball detent back in the hole, I need to put the spring on top of the ball detent, and then the screw itself will go in. And again, using the 2.5, I know it's tight. I know that I've got tension. Now, if I was to turn it all the way around, that I'm going to have enough spring load to catch every hole in that magazine whenever it's loaded. Uh, we're gonna take the front plate, we're gonna 
install uh, the actuator back onto the plate. There's a little hole into that actuator that you drop the spring. I'm gonna lay it in, I'm gonna push on that. I'm gonna make sure that that goes in position just like that. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of tension on it because it has a tendency to jump out, but that's the way you want it to sit. You want the spring to lay flat and flush. It's straight. Do is I'll go ahead and I'll lay the wheel on it, I'll slide it, making sure that it's flush. Where I'm gonna install the Allen screws, you can go ahead and use your wrench. And that was the uh, two millimeter. The magazine should be ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll do a test on it and we'll, we'll actually wind the magazine up as if you were to put drop pellets in each one. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put it in the rifle now. So what we'll do is we'll put it in the rifle and as if there were pellets in there, there's not. So we wanna make sure to make that clear that don't drop pellets in at this point. We'll hit that and you can pull the trigger. When you see that red dot on top move uh, to the next pellet hole, then you know that the magazine is working correctly. And so, douche. Three. On the 10th shot, you'll see the red dot come up. You'll know that this is the 10th shot. When you see that red dot, go ahead and put it in, pull the trigger and uh, you're ready to go ahead and open up and pull the magazine out and actually load the pellets up and start shooting. Brokoff's done a fantastic job with this magazine. Uh, uh, very easy to, to use and uh, very dependable magazine. This is a fantastic rifle. I think that uh, anyone would be happy to own this Brokoff rifle. A real simple rifle to use, something that uh, you'd be proud to have in your collection. This is Steve in the repair department and uh, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.